Hi, I'm Brian Preer, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is the equilibrium expression. Equilibrium expressions can be used to find the concentration of chemicals in a reaction in equilibrium. Most textbooks will show you something like this. This is just your generic form for a reaction at equilibrium. The capital letters represent any chemical you could throw in, and the lowercase ones represent their coefficients. For example, this CC might represent 2HI, where HI is your capital C, and the 2, the coefficient, is the lowercase. The equilibrium expression, generically written, looks like this. The concentration of your products come on top, each raised to their coefficient, and then reactants on the bottom. And that's set up equal to a KQ, which is a constant that changes depending on your reaction. Let's use this in an equilibrium expression. Writing it out, first is the concentration of your products on top, HI, raised to the power of their coefficients, 2. So the concentration of HI squared over, and now you write out your reactants. You have H2, its coefficient is 1, and I2, coefficient is 1 again. So we don't really need to show that power, and set that equal to a KEQ. So if we have the concentration of two of these chemicals, we could solve for the concentration of the last one. Let's try that out. Let's say we know that we have five molars of HI. Remember, that's squared over with an unknown concentration of H2, but a concentration of I2 of two molars. And we're going to set that equal to a KEQ of 4.167. Now all we have to do is solve. 5 squared is 25 over a concentration of H2 times 2, 4.167. So after you plug that in, 12.5 times concentration of H2 equals 4.167. And then you just divide through, giving you about 3 molars of H2. And that's all there is to it. To recap, equilibrium expressions are used to find the concentration of a chemical in a reaction at equilibrium. This is your generic equilibrium reaction that you can see in textbooks. The capital letters represent any chemical in the reaction, and the lowercase ones represent the coefficients. You can write that as an equilibrium expression here. Concentration of your chemicals raised to the power of their coefficients is equivalent to a constant, K, which changes depending on your reaction. Just remember to put your products over your reactants, and then solve for whatever you're missing. Alright, that's all for now. Get on Brian Prier. See you next time.